Hello, the team. This is Joe Azu here. Hey, I got a quick video here. I've got a Banner DXM R90 X1 that uh, I loaned out to somebody, and uh, they changed the IP address in the unit, so I couldn't find out what it was. So, what I've using is a BW UCT 900 that's connected into here that'll do Modbus comms to this to get some parameters out. I got Ethernet cable coupling plugged into this one, and with this cable here plugged into here. Using the DXM software, version 4, DXM software version 4, if I go over here to settings, and uh, you know what, I need to, let me turn on my, my unit, so I'm going to power up my thing, and you can see that the cable is on COM5 here, so that's what I wanted to see. So over here in settings, under administration, uh, if I slide down in this window down here in this RS45, I'm going to read the DXM IP address unit from it. Let's see if it comes back with an IP address. That's interesting. It closed the software. How about that? Let's go reopen that again. Let's try that once again here. <laughs> let's just uh, let's see. Here. put this up here. I want you guys to see what version I'm using. So let me reposition this in my window here. There we go. And, of course, it comes out slightly bigger than my window. So I'm going to... All right. So I'm using... In here, I'm using version 4.16.2. Once again, over here in settings, I'll go to administration. So there's COM5. Let's do the read and see what comes back. So there's the IP address of the unit. I used this to find it. Now, what my real problem here was they had put this somehow in DHCP mode, which uh, didn't give an IP address. So I used a product from Red Lion to be a DHCP server or anything you might have on your local network, and it should come up with an address. But in this case, that's the address of it. So that's how I found the IP address of the unit there. So uh, I would suspect that's the case. And uh, I'm, I'm not actually connected to it here. I wonder if I go here and go here and change this to that address we think it is, which is 192.168.1.0. I'm sorry, 0 0.1. Sorry, team. 0 0.1. Hit the connect button. Let's see if it connects. interesting well that's funny because uh i know that's the address because i found it here 0 0.1 maybe uh let me check to see my settings here real quick here let me put this on the zero network maybe that's the problem here okay change the settings of my ethernet nick card here let's try it again here go to ethernet go over here to uh settings Administration, there we are. We connect. Uh, oh, it connected automatically that time. Look, it connected automatically. <laughs> what if I do this? Oh, no, that's my. Yeah, there it is. So, anyway, uh, the key part of this short, short video is under settings, administration, using the BWA tool, I'm able to read this over the 485 port. There it is. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a great day, folks. See y'all later.